my name is Sarah and welcome to Oh Sarah So Sarah. Today we're going to make a lovely pincushion. Now that you know how to sew a 5 8 inch seam, a 3 8 inch seam, and a quarter inch seam, we're going to put those skills together and we're going to make a pincushion. You'll never have to buy a pincushion. You can always make your own. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is cut your fabric into a four inch square. This one is cut before and this fabric looks like it would be a linen, but it's not. It's a linen and rayon blend. Our next video will tell you exactly how to test your fabric to find out what fibers it's made of. This fabric is a very silky feel fabric. It's polyester. And I wanted to show you what the selvage looks like as opposed to the cut edge. So we have a four inch, two four inch squares cut of this one also. I'm going to show you exactly how to cut a four inch square. And as you can see, these are just remnants that I have laying around the studio. And we're going to find the selvage, which is right here. See the selvage? And we're going to measure four inches from the dotted dots right here. We're not going to get that in our seam allowance. We're going to cut that off. So we're going to measure four inches here. And we can just put a pin to mark that. And then we're going to measure four inches this way. And we'll put a pin here. So we're going to cut. Now cutting is not a skill that people use every day, so it's okay to practice, practice, practice cutting your square. I like to say that the, using the scissors is like driving a car. Wherever you point the tip of your scissors, that's where your cut is going to go. We're going to turn our fabric around. We're going to line it up here. Pull out the pin. Put it in your pin cushion. Always put your pins in the pin cushion. That's why we have them. It's a safety precaution as well. Then we're going to cut on the circles. Cut off that salvage. And we have a four inch square. Okay, so we have three different fabric textures. So we're going to make three different pin cushions. Remember, we learned our quarter inch seam, our three eighth inch seam, and our five eighth inch seam in the last video. So we're going to apply those techniques to make three different pin cushions. Let's get started. So we're going to put our right sides together. And our first pin cushion is going to be a 5 8 inch pin cushion. And put it under the machine. We're going to line it up with the 5 8 inch mark. Put the presser foot down. Turn the hand wheel so that the needle is in the fabric. Two stitches forward, then we're going to go back. Get towards the end, we're going to leave the needle in the fabric. Lift up the presser foot. And we're going to simply pivot the fabric to make that 90 degree turn, keeping the edge of the fabric as close as we can to that 5 8 inch seam allowance. Leave the needle in, pick up and pivot, and here we go. We're going to leave an opening to stuff it. So in this pin cushion, we have demonstrated making a 5 8 inch seam. The next one we're going to demonstrate making a 3 8 inch seam. And we're going to put the needle in, two stitches right, two stitches. Leave the needle in, 
lift up and pivot. And then this one we've demonstrated making a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Our next one, we've already got the right sides together. We're going to do a quarter inch seam allowance. And on this machine, the quarter inch is the edge of the presser foot. Always keep the needle in the fabric when you're doing a pivot turn. We've demonstrated making a 5 8 inch seam, a 3 8 inch seam, and a quarter inch seam. Now we're going to turn it right size out. And what you can do is you can trim your corners to get a smooth corner finish. And you gently take the edge of your scissors and give it a more defined corner. The bigger your seam allowance, the smaller your finished item is going to be. We'll take our scissors and give it a nice, sharp corner. Okay, here's number two. And here's our quarter inch. See, we're going to trim the corners. Being careful not to cut your threads, because then you have to stitch it over if you cut that. The great thing about sewing is that if you make a mistake, there's usually a way to fix just about any mistake you can make. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to stuff our pin cushions. This one is made of linen fabric and I stuffed it with 100% cotton balls and I used 13 cotton balls to get this size in case you want to go the all natural route. And I thought cotton balls would be neat to introduce because most of us have cotton balls laying around the house. It's not something you have to go out and buy, you just put them in here. And as you get the cotton balls in, you want to push one cotton ball into each corner to give it a nice sturdy corner. have polyester fiber feel or stuffing you can use that also it's um, a softer texture than and, and a lighter texture than the cotton balls the cotton balls are a little bit dense but if you're just wanting to use what you have around the house go with the cotton balls if you have some of the polyester fiber feel you can use that as well Until next time, keep sewing.